It's really an issue of public safety. In the past two weeks, five San Antonio police officers have been shot. Another officer accidentally shot himself while chasing an armed suspect. And for the first time since that violence broke out, top county leaders are standing before cameras tonight. They're addressing that recent increase in violence by suspects who law enforcement say should be in jail. Bear County Judge Peter Sakai says he's putting a city county commission together to come up with a solution. Here's the question though, what about the district attorney's office? The night team's Patty Santos breaks down exactly how much money you, the taxpayer, give the DA's office to put criminals behind bars. I want y'all to understand this is a tough job and I've got a tough job to do and I'm gonna do it. I'm willing to come to the table and, and, uh, and help come up with a solution. Bear County Judge Peter Sakai and District Attorney Joe Gonzalez says they don't know what it's gonna to take to keep violent criminals in jail. It is the legislature that is the appropriate forum for a discussion on changing the bail bond system. But taxpayers are set to give the DA's office more than $52 million in the county's fiscal year 2024 budget to keep the community safe. It would add 11 positions to the more than 500 staff. About 200 of those positions are criminal prosecutors. According to a case had investigates report, the DA's office has faced a large number of staff resignations over the past year. Not just Gonzalez just told county commissioners in this April meeting that workers were leaving because of low pay. Our prosecutors are overworked, they are overstressed, and they are underpaid. The county dish now pay increases at that time. As of today, Gonzalez says his office is down 20 prosecutors. Judge Shakai wonders if recent policy changes made to reduce the jail population are to blame for violent crimes against police. We've gone to some shifts of policy and perhaps has affected this issue today. As of September 1st, Gonzalez did away with the declination policy, which turned away minor drug possession cases. The policy was in effect for four years. A new state law forces DAs to prosecute those cases. And last year, the district attorney's office received funding to hire 16 new staff to deal with the COVID backlog. Now, commissioners are set to vote on the 2024 budget next week. Soon after that, they say city and county leaders will meet up to come up with some sort of policy change to deal with this crime problem. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Patty. On Monday, Police Chief William McManus and Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez will be at a District 4 Public Safety Town Hall. That town hall is scheduled to start at 6 at St. Rose of Lima Catholic Church. It's on Marbach Road. We plan to live stream it on all of our KSAT streaming platforms. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.